Hello Cancer, I'm hoping you're doing well. This is your weekly reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars for um, August 5th through the 11th. So let's see, I've already uploaded uh, July 29th through August the 4th. Let's see what's going on. What are the energies, the potentials, an overview here. Remember you have free will. These are just possibilities, what the universe wants you to know. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. For August 5th through the 11th. One more. Wow, the Seven of Cups and the World. Now, there's, or there is a distance, longing, desire. For some of you, there's so many dreams. But again, how do you achieve? Like you feel like you have um, to, to kind of or get closure or this achievement here. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, a lot of dreams. It's like to me in a way, someone has been dreaming to give you the world or you to, to give the world to someone to accomplish finally the story here coming together. What has been a little bit unreachable in the fantasy that's what it seems like. I don't know yet. All right. Another seven, the seven of pentacles waiting here. Okay. I keep getting something needs to end though with this, the world and the death card. Something needs to change and end. All right. So what is your situation? The page of swords. I don't know yet how this is going to go, but right now I feel like someone or is reaching out or is been analyzing, trying to find some type of information. It's my researcher. In here, again, someone has something to say. It's pointing. I keep getting maybe distance, observation here, something from afar. Oh my goodness, the Ten of Swords. Gemini had this. Something definitely feels like needs to end or uh, close here. The biggest situation is like, what is, that's the challenge, it's on swords, so a lot about communication, a lot about waiting for something finally to end so you can move forward or say something. We'll clarify all of this, I don't know yet where this is leading. Sun in Gemini. It's like someone has been preparing. In a way, I feel like it's warning. What is, let's see, why? Okay accumulating money wealth it's like i keep getting the preparation if you guys are closing a chapter or moving relocating and you've been like looking at the fine print here there's something that maybe again i feel like now looking at the ten of swords your biggest challenge will be that you're not looking at what can sabotage you what can come here and hurt you because this is like someone that is so afraid and it, it's like kind of um preparing i'm going to gather all this money sun in capricorn by the way before you know i make this decision before i say anything someone has been really keeping tightly a tight grip on the material or the tangible or the home but i am getting messages or some type of form of communication here needs to happen how can someone deal because there's a fear of a betrayal here and it's like Maybe I need to just be well prepared. As long as I have this safety net, I'm good. Kind of a situation. All right. Why? <laughs> because it's coming from a wish fulfillment. Gemini had some of this energy. If, for you, if some of you have Gemini in your chart, they had this kind of energy. So that's why I feel like you want something. You're preparing here for something. It's coming from a, a wish fulfillment, satisfaction, living your best life. But I don't know if it is like you're waiting for some type of written situation here before you move forward. You feel like, what if someone here actually lies or deceives me? Or what if it's too late? That's what you're kind of preparing for. All right. Um, the Four of Pentacles here is the Three of Pentacles is what's going to happen. I am getting partnership, building here something that you feel like it's long-standing. Or a partnership or creating, uh, you know... The relationship you want creating here whatever it is that brings you satisfaction i like we have capricorn energy by the way but i like the way you're thinking i keep getting between whatever is going on with the ten of swords and research here and preparation you are very practical you're building something steady all right communication is coming in 
fast, quick, it may be sudden. Lightning bolt, by the way, it's like it will be um, someone that doesn't care here, whatever is going on, without any filters. That's the immediate. If you guys have been asking about communication or a decision here, but you feel like maybe it's too late or how is this going to be handled? Now, the Knight of Swords, I've said it, this can be very sharp. It's not someone that cares what other people's opinions here. It's just I'm going to say it how I say it and get out of my way on a mission. We're going to clarify though and see what's going on. All right, so I, I, you good. It's like your headspace and how you're going to see everything is with a star. Navigation here, wish fulfillment. Again, the wish fulfillment card is coming twice. You feel like whatever is going on, you have at least a vision or some guidance here and healing and renewal. External to you, okay, that's why uh, this is coming in. There's a lot of worry and anxiety. Someone is very worried. I don't know if this is a person, how they see you. Sleepless night. The eight of pen. I keep getting some of the energies with uh, Gemini. Like, what do you feel here that whatever is this plan that is going to take, there's going to be improvement and work and dedication and mastery here. Um, efforts long term. Working on something. Okay. All right. I am getting movement. The two of cups in the end is you and someone here being together. But you have to deal with some news here, guys. Whatever is this uh, communication that is arriving, it's going to be this smooth sailing. I feel like you're worrying for nothing here because the Six of Swords not only is Mercury... I'm going to clarify all of this, by the way. Not only is Mercury in a, uh, Aquarius, there's a solution. But also it's going to lead to the Two of Cups towards what you have been wanting. That's why I said there's a navigation, there's a... Um, kind of a healing situation here, vision. Whatever you've been preparing and waiting, it's going to come in and it's going to bring you and someone together here. That's what it seems. It's going to be the... the coming together of a connection. Let's see, I'm going to clarify what it is. I, as I mentioned, something needs to end. Yeah, the High Priestess here needs to be revealed as well. Something needs to end. You have been waiting, stressing, anxiety. How is this going to go? It's going to go fine. Solutions are going to be made. Partnership are going to be created. Improvement here. But it's all about communication. It's all about the swords, by the way. Though you are surrounded by the pentacles, practical working situation. Venus in Cancer, by the way, is the Two of Cups. What is this Page of Swords? What is the Page of Swords? I keep... <laughs> you have been very careful. Look at all the pe pentacles. So whatever you have been waiting, um, it kind of to come towards you with rewards, is worth it to me. I've said it before. The This card is someone that keeps... Uh, putting um, a lot of investment, a lot of work, a lot of values here into a situation has been long term uh, for some of you, um, whatever as you have been working and waiting to come towards you. So now it's like, is this finally coming in? I've been waiting, I've been patient, I've been uh, kind of working on myself, I accumulated the money, the values, the stability. Am I finally going to be able here to move forward in the right direction? So let's see. What is the Ten of Swords? Sorry. What is the Ten of Swords? The Magician. Such a Gemini energy. Yeah, I feel like between letting go here of what doesn't work for you. Remember, it's coming in the uh, because of a wish fulfillment. You feel like this is what I want to go. This is what I've been manifesting. This is what I've been thinking opening up. I feel like you've also gotten the Magician and the Nine of Cups a few times. Whatever you have been trying to create, Cancer, like I keep getting that when it comes to your, um, even how you visualize something, your life, it feels like it has changed and you're realizing, as I mentioned, certain things letting go, but looking at new potentials, opening your mind, different perspective, different view, been manifesting something here that for some time 
and you've been working very hard for some of you again with the eight of pentacles and four of pentacles you've been working and you've been creating this i feel plan for some time here so what is the four of pentacles i feel like that's your safety net again the backup here what is the four of pentacles what i'm telling you you're preparing for some, yeah, or a movement here or a direction you're preparing for something to come in and it's going to completely change your life because this this is at the foundation of this reading it's like okay i'm gonna have this big storm here you know awakening or shake-ups but if i am you know I've been accumulating what I need here because it's usually the four of pentacles is someone that stays in one place. But in here, it's not someone that is staying in a place. It's someone that has accumulated their money. What, you know, it's mine, what I possess, what belongs to me. So whatever is this movement or whatever you're feeling like you have to retain here that is yours before something completely comes here and shakes you up or the direction or the movement or relocation for some of you. Because again, you feel like there's something better out there. There's something better with this person or this situation or what you're trying to move forward. What is the Nine of Cups, please? What is the Nine of Cups? The family, everything. Wow, for some of you, I don't know if you're clo closing one chapter with one person and going towards your true love, true desire, following your heart. It does not have to be love for some of you, but... We can see that the Two of Cups and the Lovers coming in, there is a bond. In the end, it is about a connection. Even if you've been feeling like, oh, I need to, like, you know, focus on myself or, you know, um, moving places. In the end, there's going to be uh, about a union or about what satisfies you. But most of you, I feel like it's about a connection. So remember, we're looking at the week ahead. I do believe that the July... Uh, 29th through the 4th there was something that you needed to prepare so i feel like the nine of cups is coming here with this week whatever this wish fulfillment desire here that you're realizing so let's see what is the three of pentacles please what is the three of pentacles one more is the <laughs> is the wish fulfillment carefree energy messages communication going after what truly here you want so you've been planning something that you've been excited for some time here something that you have been wishing and again you're so practical in your approach i don't know if it is with another person here partnership um working with what you have right now to go towards this wish fulfillment there's exciting news here that's what you're thinking is best or a collaboration or you know kind of that map it's very executive energy because it is capricorn structure legacies but also it's number three creative and it's mars energy passionate so what is this knight of swords okay i feel like oh my goodness that came out all right so if there's been some type of fear of codependency the lovers chained i feel like someone finally is cutting through that chain through that codependency i'm not gonna let fear greed capricorn some of you what is this yeah all right, so someone feels like not only with justice here, any karmic situation, any type of legal stuff, contracts, there's going to be, uh, again, this quick swift. And I feel like, again, this it's righteousness. This Knight of Swords is kind of saying, I have the lead, I have the right. Not only opening up to something here that feels new, abundant, new love, new opportunities. That's this, um, I, I made up my mind, get out of my way. I'm not going to be fearful here. I'm not going to let other situation. I feel like I have, look at the sword. I have the right. That's what it feels like, the right to be happy or the right to be open. And you have the attitude here with wish fulfillment and hope and renewal. What is the star, please? What is the star? Something, <laughs> moon in cancer, something that you have been lingering and lingering of what if finally is coming in. Some of you, if you have Capricorn or your person does, they get this a lot. I feel like, again, Gemini got this as well. But what is this? Yep, it's between you and someone else, guys. It's about you and another person. You see hope. You see finally 
you know, there's some type of agreement, movement, smooth sailing. So what is the Nine of Swords? It's the Page of Swords. It might be communication, someone that has been observing, analyzing, watching, keeping tabs. That's for the worry. Should I do it? Should I say it? How is this going to go through? What if it's too late? What if it's painful? Like all these thoughts are not helping you. It's like finally, I feel like again, someone finds the solution of how to deal with this. What is uh, the Eight of Pentacles, please? Yep. You're hoping that, as I mentioned, you're looking at things practical, tangible, assets, money, time that you have put. Um, you feel like uh, I'm hoping through all of this that has, has been uncertain, enigmatic, loss here, that there's going to be some type of wor um, work and efforts and something gets paid off. That's what I feel like you're hoping for. Improvement into a situation that has been emotionally for some of you very elusive or uncertain in the direction <clears throat> skill a talent that you have what is the six of swords please what is the six of swords look <laughs> so one thing is again you're going to find the as i mentioned the hope the navigation here the stars aligning and telling you exactly what's you where you're supposed to go but it feels like remember we have the two of cups that's why i feel like this is going to lead not only to you and someone else coming together knowing each other's strength you are going to gain strength mercury and mercury and it's going to be something that again brings you happiness reconciliation or the right partnership that's what's coming in and yes, for some of you are focused on work and something tangible and safety net, but in the end is finding the solution to something here that truly brings you, your other person here, your significant other for some of you, or understanding exactly where your heart wants to be. Good news. Celebration. All right, let's see. What is the Two of Cups, please? What is the Two of Cups? One more. Okay, the passion that has been here. Yep, something that has been waiting, anticipating. There's been this spark, this, for some of you, what if? For others, again, you have waited for this person for some time, finally is coming in. I feel like the meeting here of you and another person finding a solution together here and moving in something better. That's what's coming in. Calming thoughts. But again, it's very big uh, when it comes to the direction and with the lovers here. That you are well prepared. That's what it seems like. But for some of you, though, you're focusing too much on the pentacles or what you need to build. is saying it's all about your mind and the clarity here and the movement than anything else. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.